Hello guys, today we're going to be checking out Shaper. It's supposed to be a relatively robust and intuitive CAD software for Apple. Now, I am an Android user and it's going to be like watching a caveman because I have no idea what's going on. Now, to try and unlock the thing. <laughs> That's the camera. How do I leave the... There we go. Okay, so here we are. The aim today is to play around with Shaper. Hopefully at some point we'll have something that resembles a pencil holder. I previously tried to film this, so I'm a little bit more experienced than I was 10 minutes ago. Still an absolute noob. So I am used to Fusion 360 on the PC. I'd say I'm above average, maybe, but you see what people make on YouTube and it's ridiculous, so that probably sways the average a little bit. I'll say I'm average. <laughs> so we'll start off simple. I'm just gonna make a cylinder and I'm gonna try and give it fillets around the edges or fillets as Americans call it. Circle? Yes, make it three light years long. We'll make it, make it 50. 50 mil. There we are. And I think that you go to tools to extrude things. There's extrude. Tap that. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Extrude. Tap. Up. 50. Done. Okay, done there. I'd assume that any filleting and post-processing after these is not. We'll try tools again. Chamfer slash fillet. Select the edge, I'd imagine. Oh! You just have to be accurate. That's not a fillet. There, all right. So you go into chamfer and out to fillet. I can see that when you get good at this, you can be real fast. Five. All right, that's pretty easy. Chamfer. Be accurate. There we go. Fill it. Five. Boom. So as Gabe has reiterated many, many times, give it a fillet on the bottom to prevent elephants fitting. We have our slicer settings dialed in to the point where it's really not that big of a deal anymore. Not as big as it used to be, but it is still absolute best practice. Give it a fillet on the bottom. You can do less than that, you can do 0.4. Okay, can we edit our fillet up here? Yes, we can. So you double tap it and you can edit it. We'll make it smaller, make a circle, radius 42. Radius 42. So we have a sketch on that now. Now we're gonna exit that sketch. Sketch two, tools, extrude, and cut. Cut it by 48. Just leave a little bit. So, can we add text, image? Oh, there's a construction plane, nice. What about in here? So there's revolve, sweep, is there loft? Union? Okay, I could have done that even simpler. There's a shell tool here. Split body. Try and add some text to this. Text! That was easy. Okay. Alright, let me let me see the tutorial, please. Ah! Oh! Alright, close enough. We'll print it. Now what do we do? Export. STL, high res, millimeters, pencil. All right, I'll see you again in half an hour. And here's the finished result. It's uh, half the size I intended it to be, but it works.